We present to you a video about the most important secrets of the nuclear power of the Chinese dragon China is the Empire of the Middle as it was formerly called. It was known as one of the oldest civilizations on earth and the most sophisticated, developed and banned in ancient times. Now it is the Communist People's Republic of China or the Red Dragon as some like to call it a one-party communist republic with a ruthless army. But the correct name is that it is really an empire of invisibility. Most of the figures given by China, especially the military, are usually erroneous and greatly underestimate reality. This is for the very simple reason that China prefers to work in silence out of sight. As we said earlier, China always gives false figures, especially when it comes to the military and the huge Chinese Liberation Army. For example, when we talk about China's military budget, the announced budget is the second in the world with about $150 million. But no one who follows the military closely believes it. American and Western reports have always stated that China's real defense budget is double or even three times more than the original. The Pentagon said China's 2007 budget planned $150 billion. Is it reasonable for China to continue to follow this policy, which has become widely exposed? Sweden's CIPRI International Peace Research Institute confirmed that China's budget is about $190 billion. As for the Pentagon, it said that it exceeded the barrier of $200 billion. The most important report belongs to his Jane's. The 2012 report said China would double its military budget by 2015 to become about $240 billion, more than all the Asia-Pacific countries combined. Their heads are Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, India. But the purpose of my topic is not to showcase China's defense financial capabilities. China's military budget, despite its rapid multiplication, is still far from the United States, which spends fantastic money on its military. The question that arises, why, then, does China do that? The answer is very clear. The United States will make a famous pivot towards the Asian region, a policy adopted by former President Obama with the stated purpose of establishing peace and security in that region. But we know that this is nonsense. The purpose of diverting 60% of the U.S. Navy's fleets there is a blatant attempt to encircle China. But why surround China in particular simply put, it is only a few years away from removing America from the throne of the world's first economy. China today has the largest gold and cash reserves in the world. The largest commercial exporter in the world the biggest consumer of energy. For gold. The largest consumer market in the world. The largest growth rate in the world the largest financier of scientific research and innovation. In 2012, the United States was displaced to become the world's largest international trade for the first time since World War II. America's biggest creditor with trillions of dollars the largest balance and trade surplus in the whole world. China now accounts for about three quarters of the U.S. economy. China's launch of the electronic yuan and the golden yuan, the project of the hammer and belt, so the United States won't keep watching. China hides more than 3,000 nuclear warheads in secret tunnels about 5,000 kilometers long. China will also not stand idly by until the Americans come. China's achievements to confront the Americans in the Pacific have varied, including the manufacture of a mighty ballistic missile capable of killing any aircraft carrier no matter how powerful it is, which is DF-21D aircraft carrier killer. The DF-41 intercontinental ballistic missile, which can reach the United States in minutes and is difficult to intercept. China hides more than 3,000 nuclear warheads in secret tunnels about 5,000 kilometers long but what about nuclear China, which is the origin of the topic? As is well known, China is one of the only three countries that possesses the terrifying nuclear triad. Russia, America, China The definition of a nuclear triad is the ability to deliver a crushing nuclear strike from land by land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles from the sea, by means of strategic submarines carrying intercontinental missiles from the air, by long-range strategic bombers I will not go deeper so as not to prolong more than China's means of delivering nuclear warheads over the enemy's head. But China is steadily stepping and getting closer bit by bit to the triad of Russian and American nuclear giants, although the distance is not close at all China still has a lot and a lot ahead of it. But as the saying goes, Whoever walked on the path reached and China knew an incredible speed and achievement and it is a country of miracles in a quick time she does not know the impossible. 
Now we come to the most important which is how much nuclear warhead China has exactly that question is known only to the Chinese leadership. As is known, everyone lies and evades the number of their nuclear warheads, and the numbers contradict a lot in every nuclear state. But estimates by think tanks and defense ministries for different countries may come somewhat closer to the real hidden numbers. It is known that Russia has been exporting this field for decades immediately followed by the United States of America these two giants alone account for 90% of the world's nuclear arsenal. Followed by China China officially says its arsenal is about 240 or 250 nuclear warheads, while estimates suggest it ranges from 400 to 500 maximum. But China still relies on the Russians' mentality they inherited from the Soviets. Nuclear superiority at all costs. It is known that Soviet Russia reached a record number of active nuclear warheads with 45,000 nuclear warheads. The Soviet Union as a whole produced 55,000 nuclear warheads. As for America, its arsenal has reached the peak of 30,000 active nuclear warheads. But the two arsenals were subsequently reciprocal reductions in the three START agreements. And we come here to China, where sources, several researches, and images of satellites and international intelligence agencies have confirmed she confirmed that an earthquake hit China in 2008 specifically the Chinese province of Sichuan. T-Hat earthquake revealed mounds of strange debris, which all studies confirmed contained tunnels underneath them. Very deep and very long secret tunnels dug by the Chinese 2 Artillery Corps Chinese Strategic Missile Forces What is also known is that this corps is a secret Chinese military unit responsible for protecting nuclear weapons, in the People's Republic of China this is something that was not hidden from the United States, which did not lie when it always said that China was deceiving the world and revealing its military and nuclear arsenal. Students and researchers from Georgetown University led research and translated classified military documents, and they went further astray in that. For three full years they have been busy knowing this dangerous secret in 2008 thousands of radiation technicians were sent to the area where tunnels are believed to be underneath. After it was hit by a huge earthquake before officials admitted that there was a network of underground tunnels, they called it the Great Tunnel Wall. And here we continue from the sources, especially the American ones, which did not express much astonishment about the matter the 363-page study, which has not yet been made public, was examined by the US Congress and circulated among Defense Department officials. The idea for the study came from Philip Carper, a university professor who was a prominent strategist in the Department of Defense during the Cold War. A Penn's official said, The results of the study are not a spectacular surprise, but their value is that their results are contrary to people's ideas and assessments about China's nuclear capabilities. Russian nuclear analyst Gregory Kolaki said the tunnels may encourage China not to have more nuclear missiles out of its belief. They are well fortified. Non-proliferators, on the other hand, attacked the report, claiming it was hampering efforts to reduce the stockpile of atomic weapons. But Mark Stokes of the Project 2049 Institute, a global security institute, said the report reveals uncertainty about what China holds. I don't really know exactly how many nuclear weapons China has, but no one knows China's military nuclear capabilities except China and that's where the problem lies. China has always been the most secretive of the five nuclear powers recognized by the NPT. And while Russia and China have bilateral treaties that ensure their nuclear stockpiles are monitored, China simply claims to have few weapons to ensure they have. Minimum deterrence. The figures indicate that the United States has 5,000 nuclear warheads while Russia has 5,000. Studies have also shown that these tunnels are miles underground and 3,000 miles long, or about 5,000 kilometers. The Russians have exposed this terrifying arsenal, said General Viktor Yassin a former commander in Russia's strategic missile forces. He said China has 40 tons of uranium for nuclear weapons and 10 tons of plutonium, allowing it to make about 3,600 nuclear warheads. Military. He also stated that he relied in his statements on the huge quantities of highly enriched uranium and plutonium. Russian general said it was time for China to enter nuclear arms reduction agreements. We note that Russia rejected a personal U.S offer from Obama for a fourth reduction in nuclear weapons by a third. How can we reduce Russia's deterrent weapons when America is installing its missile shield and other countries are increasing the development of their nuclear arsenals quantitatively and qualitatively? 
The question that arises remains by itself if one earthquake revealed more than 3,000 nuclear warheads, giant tunnels and nuclear missiles. What is China still hiding from the world? Is it necessary every time an earthquake to know the secrets of this dragon the true figure of the dragon's nuclear capabilities is subject to estimates? And China will not say what it possesses, as ambiguity is in its interest.